Have you ever heard of neutral oxygenic flow? Me either. I haven't. I just made that up. But it's going to explain what's happening with the cardiovascular system of the scalp. I am AQBS and this is Back to the Barber. <music> Longer than I like to admit, I, like many of you, were focused on stimulants. Now, this brought me to where I am now. So I am grateful and thankful that the knowledge was out there. And many people and bro scientists like myself have sacrificed our time and our dedication to hair loss prevention or restoration. Now, this stimulant stimulation is an active part of restoring hair follicles back to where they should be. But this video is about the cardiovascular depletion of the scalp. And we don't hear about the cardiovascular system being attributed to hair loss. But if you really, really look at the reporting and the research, you find that you're about five times more likely to have a heart attack if you are severe balding. Which got me thinking years ago. Thus, at the end of these videos, you'll see the heart and the prostate and the gut as the organs I believe that are affected mostly by male pattern balding or what you guys refer to as androgenetic alopecia is either the cause or the effect. And the verdict is still out for that. But one thing I can say is that once I realized that fibrosis and this gallia ring around the head was stopping a lot of circulation and I noticed that the top of the head seems to be most affected. And the more data points you get, it starts painting a picture, although the picture is still, you know, gray and it's still blurry. What I have come to the conclusion is that the reason why fibrosis and calcification is so bad and why male pattern balding is so severe when it comes to hair loss is simply because the cardiovascular system, the veins, the arteries, the blood level or uh, layer of the scalp, I should say, is highly restricted and highly constricted to the point where feeding the follicles, oxygen, blood, and the growth hormone is neo. So there's a cardiovascular depletion of the scalp. And it is very apparent when things such as massaging works. Why would massaging works if the problem is DHT? Why is DHT in the scalp? Because of inflammation. What does inflammation cause? Inflammation causes soft tissue and omega scalp turns to an alpha scalp, which is a hardened version of it. This hardened version of it is symbolic of the fact that the cardiovascular system within the scalp is also calcified. This is the secret to why things such as minoxidil works and finasteride works, because on one end, minoxidil is supposed to be a stimulant, but when you really look at it, it says that it keeps the arteries and the veins flexible. It keeps them open. Vascularity. So minoxidil works because it's the opposing effect of cardiovascular depletion. And finasteride works because it is the opposite of DHT 
causing the soft tissue to go hard tissue. The levels of the scalp, the scalp sections, the scalp layers, whatever you want to call it, can go from soft, uh, cake-like, smushy to the fingers, to that rubbery, hardened look that you see when a person is severe balding when they just start shaving it off. The shave it off, bros. It's shiny. It looks like rubber. But if you were to look closely at these scalps, you'll find that none of the pores, except for the sebum pores, are open. The follicles are closed, miniaturized, and there is a plug over the follicles. And the only thing that's working is the oil glands. So, this, the cardiovascular depletion of the scalp causes the mechanical physical changes that causes us to never reverse balding even when DHT is at zero. This is why old men or older men or mature men slowly go bald. See, balding or hair loss is aging. It's the aging of the follicle because from the follicle standpoint, it has lived five lifetimes compared to another person without male pattern balding simply because the amount of acute follicle stress that it has dealt with is way more than the average population. So consider that person that you know that had a very, very stressful job, such as the, the, the presidents. When they come in, they got their hair is, is, is nice. You know, they're, 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 there's very little gray. And all of a sudden, these guys get out of office eight years later. They've aged 16, 20 years. Follicles age is accelerated due to the amount of unnatural stress that the said follicle is getting. And it goes through the process faster than the rest of the skin. So hair loss should match with wrinkles. It should. The follicles have are in an environment that is so constricted and restricted that they go into the intelligent state. In a hair loss situation, especially severe, there's no cardio. No cardio. No what I refer to as nutrio oxygenic flow. And then and simply in a bro science way, what I am saying is that the cardiovascular system is shot. Now, when you look at things such as the, the synthetics, when you look at the natties like uh, stimulants, rosemary, oregano, and peppermint, all they're trying to do is keep the uh, cardiovascular system on a machine. So the point of this video is to understand that for you to reverse your hair loss, you have to think where I am balding at, there is no cardio. There is no cardiovascular system that is in place that is working efficiently. The actual follicles themselves cannot produce a baby, which is the terminal hair. They'll produce smaller and smaller and smaller until they produce a villus. And after the villus, there is now the telogen state. And that's it. But the point I'm making is in this video, the cardiovascular depletion of the scalp, if you do not fix it, then the stimulants would only work for so long. This is why when people get transplants, eventually over time, it succumbs to balding. This is why minoxidil doesn't work for seven years. And this is why you start having to stack all of these anti-DHTs and all these anti-androgens along with stimulants. It is because of the depletion of the cardiovascular system that has a lot more to do with the mechanical physical changes of the scalp versus DHT. So that's my video for today. Hopefully something here has helped you to halt hair loss and to restore it. If so, hit the like or subscribe. If not, give another video a chance. I'm pretty sure you'll find something interesting, but if I can do it, you all can do it too. Let's get you back to the barber.